Hey guys, Bryce. Sorry for the delay. Uh, been busy, working, tired, exhausted, all that stuff. Um, stressed, but whatever. Um, it's a nice day out. I mean, you can't really tell because of where I am. There's no good place to put my laptop. And I'm trying to be kind of fast because people usually come home soon-ish and I don't like making videos when people are home because it's weird. Um, but yeah, so, uh, last week's topic, so that way I can cover that real quick, was insecurities and then what makes me feel confident. Um, my insecurities are definitely my height. Um, I'm 4'10", I'm really small, I'm 5 inches shorter than my girlfriend, she's 5'3", and she is short for even a girl, so you see where I'm going with this. Um, what else? Um, my weight is another thing. Um, I'm very broad, but with my fat redistribu redistributing, um, I just kind of have a gut, and I don't like it. <laughs> I look fat. I don't like being fat. <laughs> and I like, it's so hard to work out when I don't have a gym membership and I don't have the right equipment to work out and then I work like really hard manual labor in the early morning and I come home and all I want to do is sleep and then I'm sore for the rest of the day. So it's like mm, laziness soreness gut damn it <laughs> um and i mean nothing else really bugs me too much besides my weight and my height but what does bug me is that where there is a v there i wish i could be i wish there could be a p instead but i'm not really a huge fan on bottom surgery just because of um, I'm really not a huge fan on skinny graphs. I, like, you know, whatever is comfortable for anyone else, you know, what makes you feel good and feel like you do it, I'm not, tell I'm not like, knocking anyone who gets, like, you know, bottom surgery, of course not, I want it, but I don't like skin grafts, I already have dry skin, I have eczema, I've had it since I was a kid. I don't really want to look down at, you know, most likely my arm, and I look like I have a zombie arm. <laughs> um, and, I don't know, just my top surgery and with my post-op infection, like, that was so stressful, and for me, I, like, there was so much anxiety behind it, and I was so scared because I thought that there was something terribly wrong with me. I don't think I can go through such a major surgery. But uh, what makes me confident, besides all that, um, my voice. Um, I do mention that, like, I wish that um, it could be deeper, but I do know that it's still, like, a good, I guess, I don't, I don't even know. It's, like, is that a good level? I guess you could say, um, but I do wish that it would, like, get deeper, I mean, it, it might, you know, since I'm not even a year yet, but I'm just saying, um, I like the fact that I'm so broad, like, I'm short, but I can fit into men's, like, mediums or sometimes larges, depending on how the sizing goes, because my shoulders are so, like, broad. They're so wide. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy with my facial hair. Like, it's coming in really nice. I wish it would come up more, like, here. And I wish that my mustache would grow in more. But, I mean, hey, it's really good for someone who's almost 10 months on T. Wow. Where's the time going? I don't even know. Uh, but yeah, so that that was for last week. Um, and then my style. Um, my style is like, it's like my own thing. It's like, it's a mixture of like, skater and sometimes like, you know, the typical people that you see, you 
I like hardcore shows for like uh, what's what's a hardcore band like old school from first to last or the used and uh, like anything that's like you know that would be under the category of what people would call screamo <laughs> or when I dress nice it's like indie I guess I'm really into like the khakis and the vests and suspenders and bow ties and all that good stuff and like nice suede shoes um let's see hold on let's see if I can show you like I love hats I always I'm always wearing a hat it's either a snapback or a beanie I do have other hats though but mostly those um I do have contacts too I just I really like my glasses I feel like I look weird with them off like I feel like I look weird with them off <laughs> I don't know. You be the judge of that, guys. Um, right now, I'm wearing a Balance and Composure shirt. to one of my favorite bands. Like, I love band t-shirts. I'm usually wearing black shirts because they kind of just match everything, and I really like black shirts. Um, these are my Adidas. I love my Adidas. They're amazing. I'm wearing gray jeans. Well, gray pants right now. I really like gray pants. Um, surprisingly, I actually don't have a lot of jeans right now. I don't know why, but I have, um, khakis. Well, one pair of khakis right now. <sighs> Two pairs of gray pants. A pair of jeans that are really long on me, but I wear them anyway, because they're really cozy. And... Those are my pants, because I don't have a lot. <laughs> I have a lot of shirts, but not a lot of pants. Um, I don't really know, like, I just, it's, it's different, like, on a day-to-day -day basis, like, one day I'll be wearing, like, a nice striped sweater, shut up, we're not quoting Spongebob right now, um, sorry, I need to say goodbye, my girlfriend's going to work, and she just answered me, <laughs> Um, sorry. What else? But yeah, sometimes I'll like, I'll like to wear nicer pants with, uh, a sweater or a nice, like, blank v-neck and a hoodie or, like, a flannel. And then other days I like to dress, like, super grungy and look like I'm on the verge of turning into a Hispanic Kurt Cobain and wear my, like, really nasty, not nasty, but, like, grungy, like, old, worn jeans with my Adidas, because, you know, those are the only shoes that I ever really wear, with a beanie, and my, like, oversized flannel, and some, you know, worn out, like, t-shirt underneath that. And that's just what I do. Or, like, other days it's like this. I mean, I just kind of had... I had a job interview. I'm looking for a second job. Um, so I'm wearing, like, nicer pants right now. But I'll do this. Like, I'll wear, like, you know, pretty... You know, in between, like, nice kind of-ish, whatever, casual pants. And, like, a t-shirt. And, like, that's it. And I'll call it a day. Or a hoodie if it's, like, cooler out. Um, but, yeah, I, I just kind of dress, like, relaxed, I guess. I don't really know what my style is. And then there are other days where, like, I look like I'm straight out of Brazil or, like, your typical Spanish person wearing, like, you know, the jeans and, like, an Echo Unlimited hoodie or something like that and typical red shirt. And I don't really, I don't know. Like, it's hard to describe because it's a style, not a person. But I'm pretty sure you guys kind of catch on to what I mean. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm talking about. I like style. I don't know much about it, though, in the sense of talking about it. This video is getting long. I'm sorry. I'm tired. Um, but yeah, so I caught up on last week and this week, and it's beautiful out. Let's see if I, let's see if I can show you. Hold on. We're going we're gonna to see what I can do here. There we go. There we go. Beautiful out. Love it. I just wasn't facing that way because if someone comes home, then I'm the first thing that they see, and I'm at the side of my house right now, so they'd kind of see me, but not fully at, at first glance. But this video is about 10 minutes long now, almost, and now it is.
Um, so yeah, I'm gonna cut it now because I've been talking for a long time, and you probably, you guys are probably sick of me. I have something on my nose, and no one told me. No one told me. Thanks, guys. Got it. Beautiful. All right. Well, I'm gonna go now. And I hope you enjoy my video of me rambling on about style and whatnot. So I hope you guys have a good rest of your week. I'm sorry that I'm a day late. Um, and I hope you enjoy all the rest of the guys' other videos. They all have great things to say. Probably a lot well better put than me because I don't even know how to speak. Alright, so I'll see you guys next week. Adios.